Sports is back in the mix. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul Seacola. There are a handful of former University of Arizona baseball players in the major leagues. The same goes for Tucson natives at the pro level. And tonight, one former Wildcat made a big impression in the Philly Pirates game. Let's pick things up in the seventh inning. 0-0, no score. No more! Because former Arizona standout Kevin Newman's coming through. Don't you know? That is a base hit. Newman's RBI single will knock in Rodolfo Castro to put Pittsburgh up. One zip. That, folks, is the final score as the former U of A star has the game-winning RBI and the Pirates win. The Arizona Wildcat football team is still licking its wounds after the double-digit loss to Mississippi State, but the focus is now even more intense for Coach Jed Fish and the Arizona Wildcats as they are hungry to get back in the win column after opening up the year with a big victory on the road against San Diego State. After that win, you'll recall that quarterback Jaden DeLara was named the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week. Wasn't the worst of games for DeLara, but wasn't the best either against Mississippi State. One week later at this afternoon's media session, players and coaches also talked about everything from the Wildcats opening drive against Mississippi State that Jaden DeLara led on the field, resulting in the Cats taking an early 7-0 lead, to some of his crazy scrambles he used to avoid the rush, to unfortunately the three interceptions that Jaden threw. It was the first time in Jaden DeLara's career he'd toss three INTs. Along with fellow coaches, undoubtedly even Jaden DeLora would tell you, may have been a bit too aggressive at times, especially after a long scramble, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but hey, it is when it results in an INT. Yeah, it all comes down to protecting the football um, and making great decisions uh, during the play and as the play extends. Um, and the offensive line is a huge part in that, just making sure that we're not putting the quarterback in a situation where he feels like he needs to uh, evade the pocket. Um, and uh, we, we just have to work in, uh, in unison to make sure we get that done. A kickoff for the Wildcats this Saturday against North Dakota State is set for 8 p.m. at Arizona Stadium. Moving on, you may recall earlier in the year when the Gradias Flores sisters made a history at Mountain View as a record-breaking sibling combination under coach P.J. Ponce. Well, now the older sister, Isela Gradias Flores, is heading out to college to take part in grappling at the next level in one of the very few programs that have a women's wrestling team. This is the 2022 state champ taking care of business as she did at most of her high school wrestling meets. And now Isela Gradias Flores is taking the experience and success she had under Coach Ponce at Mountain View to the next level. Isela will be wrestling at Southern Oregon University this fall season on a full ride scholarship. Isela Gradias Flores is part of a wave of female wrestlers that have taken the sport by storm now that most high school programs have added wrestling to their girls sports fall rotation. Many know the name Audrey Jimenez, seen here the unbeaten wrestler from Sunnyside who also represents Team USA at the world level. Isela is a good friend with Audrey and both hope to continue to be pioneers in the sport of wrestling. I'm extremely grateful. I'm, I'm nervously excited, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready to work and be a part of a full line of a whole team with women, not just be by myself. Describe how excited you are to be able to represent Tucson at a level like this. I I'm excited, especially because this is such so new and it's a growing sport. And I have so many people that have gotten me like to be grateful for this opportunity. Coach Ponce, him retiring and all of that with me my year. It's, I'm so grateful that I was he was able to be a part of everything with me. And I'm his like first ever female wrestler and first ever state champion. And it's just like such a grateful feeling for everyone. Coach Ponce getting his props. All right, if you're wondering, Isela is leaving the old Pueblo later tonight. Yep, she's going out there early morning and route to Southern Oregon to start her college career. She tells me, her ultimate goal is to win a national title and get a chance to represent Team USA in the Olympics and international competition. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala. We'll be right back.